Hello, hello everyone! Welcome back to another Fallout 76 video. It's Christmas Day and here's everything you need to know, at least news related to Fallout 76. Enjoy and Merry Christmas! As you probably know, Bethesda is not releasing any further news until the end of the year, but they've released plenty of news in the past few weeks. I will present you an overview of what you should know right now to stay up to date. Whether you've missed out my previous news videos or not, I'm confident that you will be able to learn something new here today, and that's the most important. Remember, Wastelanders details are slowly being made public as the DLC release is coming closer and closer. All the Christmas events are still live and running right now too. Nuclear Winter has something interesting to offer you right now, despite all the cheaters. On the other hand, we've had a major setback to inventory hack, which seems to be resolved for the time being, at least according to data miners. Let's get into details. Last week, Bethesda revealed some spicy details on the Wastelanders DLC. They've introduced new NPCs like the settlers Lacey and Izella. They are searching for answers related to what brought them to Appalachia. They seem to be some sort of welcoming NPCs. I found the exact location of the released screenshot. It's right after the stairs level with the Reclamation Day banner. So it's basically a few steps from the vault's door. I am quite sure that these NPCs will share some basic information about how to survive in the wasteland to make things a little more pleasant for new players. They might give you a new mission too, but as I also mentioned, they will point out the way to the upcoming Wayward Inn. But one way or the other, they will assume an informant role. They will be there to share details about the game to help new players, and that's always a great touch. Talking about the inn, this new location will be built from scratch, it doesn't exist in game just yet, and now we finally know the exact location of the Wayward Inn. It's right close to the Overseer's Camp, past the bridge to the very left. It will be located close to the road, as shown in the screenshot. I have counted the electric poles and compare details like the poster at the very end of the road and leave shapes on the road itself. So unless they change the location before the official release, the Wayward will be located right here. Not so far from Vault 76, which indicates this might be a place recommended for new players and veterans too. It's a place where players can come together and drink for a price. So maybe you will be able to buy some drinks and even food by trading with caps. That would definitely make sense and hold some utility. I mean, it would probably be my new stop whenever I run out of food and I'm in a hurry to cease my hunger. We've known about the Duchess for a while now. She used to be a smuggler for the settlers, but now she seems to be the inn's owner. Maybe she has retired from the old habits, or maybe she has found a new disguise to operate her shady business. Either way, she will be accepting help to solve some personal matters related to some people coming to the inn, being aggressive, noisy, and asking wanted questions, let's put it that way. I'm assuming other NPCs from her smuggling times will be around too, and maybe they want to do some more shady trading. It could be something completely different too. Whichever the case, it seems like the Duchess will be an entry point for a new questline, and that's interesting. New content is always welcome, in my opinion. She will also offer you drinks for a fee, as I mentioned before. Maybe there will be some new items to purchase in the inn. One at a time will tell. Mort is an upcoming character related to the Dutchness. We also know about him for a while now, but there are some new details about him this time. He will work as a bartender at the Wayward and he can be found there at all times. Mort seems to be quite close to the Dutchness, they work together and solve business together, according to Bethesda. He is also an explorer and he seems to be an expert navigating the forest region. 
Moreover, he is skilled in camp building, so you will be able to choose dialogues related to his core skills. That is certainly interesting, to say the least. We also had confirmation that NPCs will be basically anywhere in the game with the Wastelanders DLC. A lot of locations will change, transform and accommodate this new wave of NPCs. They will also show up in certain random encounters or events, and even as enemy forces here and there. There will be encampments with NPCs, both ally and enemy, and I suspect you will be able to find them on the roads and main cities like Watauga, Morgantown, Halvetia and so on. After all, Bethesda mentioned that we will be able to find NPCs as they go on with their daily lives. So you draw your own conclusions on this one. Time for some normal news now. Most PC players have been waiting for a Steam release for ages. And it seems like the Steam release is happening soon, around the Wastelanders DLC release. So I would say in about 2-3 months, there is exciting news. It means we will get an anti-cheat engine, as poor as it might be, Something is always better than nothing, right? At least I think so. Let's see how will they integrate the anti-cheat system for Fallout 76. There are just too many hackers and cheaters around right now. It must be controlled and contained at some point. Or the future of the game is highly compromised. Well, 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 there is a new Prevere sale going on right now. It started yesterday, December 24, and it will end on December 31, the last day of the year. Instead of a sale off discount as we usually get, this time you can purchase mysterious boxes and get a random melee or ranged weapon or even armor pieces. You can only choose the stars of your item, the rest is a surprise. If you're full on script from farming Holiday Scorched, then this is a great way to spend hundreds or thousands of script this holiday season. Just remember, the RNG element here is very strong. You might get some great stuff, but most of the time you won't get anything worth selling or using. That's the way it is with the Prevere. The Santa Tron has been fixed last week, which means you can farm holiday gifts by building dozens of Santa Trons across workshops. If you haven't checked my guide on how to farm holiday gifts using Santatrons, then maybe now it's the time to take a look. You can use this method to stack up with your other active farming methods like farming locations or fishers or anything else that you want to do. You can also farm gifts while doing something else with this method. You can easily farm over 50 gifts per hour and this has been my favorite method ever since it was fixed. The choice is yours and that's a beautiful thing to be able to choose how you wish to farm. I'm leaving the link to the guide up there in case you want to check it out. Despite Bethesda's efforts, there seems to be some NPCs left in-game. Those who are not supposed to be there, which were added by hackers previously. Now, they have removed and disabled 4 and 5 star legendary items, thankfully, that were created through hacking and cheating, but some of these spawn NPCs still remain in-game for some bizarre reason. Good for us that there are not so many hackers around who have summoned NPCs at least. It doesn't really affect the balance of the game, so I can't complain much about this one. It is the way it is. It is worth mentioning that the Christmas Nuclear Winter Rewards are live for a while. You can claim 7 unique and time-limited cosmetics and Christmas decor items for your camp. All you need to do is farm Overseer Experience, which takes a while. The experience doesn't stack this time per reward, and you need, for example, 7k and 14k for the last two rewards. That's 21k just in two rewards. It is crazy, it's a lot of time and matches to play, but you have until next year to claim everything, January the 6th to be exact. So go ahead and play Nuclear Winter, you can get some gifts for your Christmas tree, and even a blue snowflake armor paint for all armor types. I think it is worth the effort if you're playing Fallout 76 actively. 
How, how, how? The Holiday Scorch event is also live. And as a matter of fact, the event was extended to the last day of the year. So you can keep farming holiday gifts as much as you want until then. Don't forget that there are dozens of plants you can get from these gifts, especially the large ones. There are many ways to farm Holiday Scorch too, just like following region routes. I have a guide on this as well if you have no idea where to go to find Scorched. Happy farming and best of luck unwrapping the gifts. It does take a while to get what you want sometimes. Just a word of advice here. You might want to do some trading if you wish to collect everything, especially the animal mounted hats. Well, the Twitch Prime bundle is still live. If by any chance you are a Prime user and would like to get some free goodies on Fallout 76, there are also dozens of new items and returning ones to the Atomic Shop, most of them related to Christmas, so if you really like something, now it's the time to get it. Remember, these Christmas entries are only live once per year, so if you don't get it now, the next chance will be next Christmas. That's a long waiting time. That's a long waiting time, just saying. Well, now this should be a surprise to no one at this point. Nuclear Winter Cheaters are present in almost every match, and it is utterly frustrating and demotivating to play the mode, at least for me. When you can actively kill people alone, you will easily spot cheaters from afar. Some are shameless, others are smart and enable disable their hacks to be more subtle, but when you get one hit from the other side of the map with marine armor, defense perks and full HP, you can really tell something is not right. Heck, there are so many different hacks at this point that it is ridiculous. From people flying and shooting through buildings or having infinite ammo on aimbot lock, there are even people with all the Christmas rewards right now while being level 0. Just how? Sometimes the best choice is to hide in a bush and do something else. Just make sure to disable the team field though, so you don't affect other people. Report suspicious or blanted players. Or go ahead and record shameless cases to get proof they are cheating. That's all you can do for now, I think. The latest scandal hit the PC community very hard. There was a new inventory hack that allowed cheaters to steal any items they wanted from other players' inventories. Bethesda quickly released a fix which is preventing hackers from stealing anything else, at least for the time being. Some people were affected by this and many others stopped playing in public servers in fear to get inventory pickpocked, including myself. I've asked data miners and they confirmed Bethesda's fix is working, so you can safely return to your gaming duties, but just in case, I'd stick to private servers, if you have one. You never know when these hackers will find a new way around the fix and start stealing again. I know this fear is terrible, but I really wouldn't want to lose items that took me months to farm. I don't think you would too, so in this case, better safer than sorry. Protect yourself and let's wait some more days to see what happens. Alright, these are all the recent news you should know right now about Fallout 76. I know some of these are now one week old, but I decided to make a compilation or an overview before the end of the year to keep you all up to date with the most important points. I hope you have enjoyed it, that's going to be everything for this video. I'd like to wish you all a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. Don't forget that my Christmas event is still going on until December the 29. Submit your best Christmas screenshot to earn awesome prizes, including collectibles. Join my Discord to participate, the link is down below. If you just got here, then consider to subscribe to my channel to help me grow. Make sure to enable the notifications bell so you don't miss any future content. I have a Patreon page too, if you'd like to go one step further and support this type of content. I will see you guys and girls in a few days. Until then, take care of yourselves. Adios. Bye. Bye.